Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because you guys requested it, I bring you a super quick guide on how you can get the fabulous wallpapers which are available on your PCs through the software wallpaper engine working on any of your Android phones. So we'll be covering everything from the initial setup and even how to find these awesome wallpapers. And as a little extra, I'll be throwing in a few little tips to help you guys troubleshoot. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. So for this tutorial, the basics you're going to need is your Windows PC, an Android phone as well as making sure that both of them are connected to the same network. After which, let's jump straight into the setup process. So starting off on our PCs, if you haven't already, make sure to grab yourselves the software Wallpaper Engine, which is available from Steam. Now sadly, this is a paid application, however, don't let that put you off, as it is only a one-time purchase, which allows you to customize both your computers, as well as now, your mobile phones, it's definitely great value for money. And personally, I've been using it for my desktop customization for a good few years now. So once installed, you should see an interface much like this. With the installed tab selected, showing you your current library of live wallpapers. So now that we have the main software set up, let's jump over to our mobile phone and using the Play Store, install the companion app, which is also called Wallpaper Engine. Now right off the bat, it does come with a couple preloaded live wallpapers which you may recognize from the PC version. Now some of the wallpapers which are available across Wallpaper Engine have interactive elements such as audio visualizers or even touch responsive actions. Just keep in mind, if enabled, these features will increase your phone's battery usage. Next up, let's connect the two applications together. So starting on our PC, just simply click on this mobile button right here to open up our connection screen. Now just simply click to connect to a new device and you'll be given a 4 digit code. At which point on our mobile phones using the panel at the bottom of the screen we want to head to the add section. Now here you can add in your own wallpapers by using the import files option or as we're going to do right now pair the companion app directly to the main software. Just simply click it and wait for your computer to be discovered. Now all that's left to do is tap on it and enter the 4 digit pairing code. Now at this point, as a quick side note, if you guys are having issues finding or even connecting to your computers, such as I am here with the infinite spinning wheel, then there's a couple things that you can try. From on your PC, just simply click on the wallpaper engine mobile help section and you'll be taken to the developer's FAQ website. Now here, using these shortcuts, you'll be able to troubleshoot any of the problems you are having, including issues with mobile pairing. Now I'm not going to go through all of these points, just keep in mind that most of your connection issues would most probably be around your firewall settings either on your PC or router. And personally, in my case, it was due to the fact that my internet connection type was set to public with incoming connections blocked and simply unblocking it allowed the app to successfully pair. And once successfully connected, you should see these green indicators on both your computer and phone. So now that we have that sorted, let's look at grabbing these awesome live wallpapers and transferring them over to our mobile phones. For this, we're first going to have to find a wallpaper to transfer. So just use the Discover tab to browse through thousands of user created live wallpapers which are available totally for free. And once you find one that you like, just simply click on the subscribe button and it will be added to your installed library section. Now as well as being able to apply it to your desktop wallpaper, Whenever the companion app is paired to your PC, you should see this new button which allows you to send it directly to your mobile. At this point, all that's left to do is select the quality that you want to use. Just keep in mind that there's two different types. The dynamic set, which renders real time on your device and thus using a lot more computing power, which on occasion may make your phone feel a bit more sluggish. 
but the one that I would recommend for most devices is the high performance pre-rendered option. Even though the wallpapers do lose some of the interactive elements, at least it's not slowing down your phone. And additionally, the quality of the image is a heck of a lot better. Regardless, whichever option you decide to go for, make sure you take your time and play around with the full settings to get the best results for your device. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.